Welcome back everyone to the complete Pine Leaf. I have arrived at the Mumok and Keep, which is a tavern here in Minas Tirith. And where else would I expect to find these two boys? Because they seem to be obsessed with the Mumakil. And speaking of which... Now, did they build this effigy of a Mumak, or is that a regular decoration here at the inn? That I'm not too sure of. What are you guys doing? My brother and I have been teaching the folk here how to bring down a Mumak. Oh, yes. We have been teaching the folk where to shoot at a Mumak in order to bring it down. This crafted fellow is not as large as one of the actual beasts, but it still serves as a good practice for letting fly our arrows. You are shooting at, are those pumpkins on the side or what? If you retrieve the arrows I've already fired and give them to my brother, he will be able to practice. He has been asking for his turn for a while now. All right, I, I'll, okay, good. As long as you're not shooting at it as I'm retrieving the arrows. Hmm. What is that? It is a pumpkin. Pumpkin eyes. Oh my. Well, now let's see if I can get these arrows off of it. So how I managed to collect those. Well, apparently there are a few that are too high for me to collect. Hello? Have you seen our father around the city anywhere? Yes. I asked about my father only because we have not seen him since we returned, and I'm afraid he might be rather cross with us. Oh, really? Yes. You see, he commanded us not to leave the city, but we left anyway. You understand, I'm sure, there were Mumakil to hunt. And furthermore, we learned how to best to bring down the mighty beast. That must be worth something, even if our stern and disapproving father and find him in the city forest, Pine Leaf. He will be atop the wall somewhere in the second circle, probably with a view of the gate to the city. And perhaps you could plead on our behalf for leniency? He will be stern, I do not doubt it, but perhaps you can convince him that we need not be reprimanded for this adventure of ours. It ended happily, did it not? I will uh, see what I can do uh, and get out of the way of the arrows. I have found their father and he does not look like he's in a good mood. This could be trouble. Hello there. My sons must learn to obey my words or they will be no sons of mine. I know you, Pine Leaf. You're the hobbit who brought my boys back to the city. You have my thanks for that. I will have some words for them when I catch them, I don't mind telling you. I'm the Lord of the Blackroot Vale, and within those boundaries my command is the law. Outside of them, I'm given authority over others by the grant of the council and the steward. But, in affairs of my own house, and over the actions of my sons, I have complete authority no matter where I am. I commanded those boys to stay within the city for their own safety. And what would I tell their mother if they ran afoul with some evil in Ithilien? Rosefin would never let me hear the end of it. Tell me where they are, Pine Leaf, and I will teach them obedience. Well, uh, they were trying to learn something about fighting the Mumakil, so they went to the Mumak and Keep Capper to practice killing them. I know that place. If you help my men finish gathering up these bows, swords, and shields, I will meet with you there. My sons must learn to obey my words, or they will be no sons of mine. Boy, did he go quickly. Let's go and gather these weapons. Well, shields and swords. 
and bows. I was going to wonder why no spears here, but I suppose that if we're at the second wall, they might need more use and have more use of bows. I'm assuming they, they can they fire over the outer walls so that they'll be able to. Yeah, I suppose if they have long enough reach bows, they may be able to do that. Well, let's get these weapons back to their father and we will find out if they succeed in doing anything. The boy is still practicing and the father is probably getting ready to start a quite a rant. And, and furthermore, uh, furthermore... Well, apparently I caught him in mid-sentence, yes. And says, my son, you're responsible for upholding my good name. If you do not, as I command, folk will look at your example and say, dude here can't even control his own sons. What sort of man is he? And furthermore... Uh, huh? What? Dude here stares at the makeshift Moomok, seeming to see it for the first time. He missed a moonmark in the room? Can I have a try? I will show you how this is done, I warrant. Apparently, he's changed his mind. Hmm. Ah! A powerful hit! That's the way! Oh, why did you not tell me about this pine leaf? This exercise seems to be quite a useful one. And can I have a try, my sons? I will show you how it's done, I warrant. You will see your sire get it on the first try, Doylin. I can't stay mad at my boys. They get their skill in archery from me, you know. Ah, <sighs> sounds like they get a lot of things from him. Do you see? There is nothing to worry about after all. <laughs> oh, father has never been able to stay mad at dear Finn or me for very long. Our mother thinks we remind him of himself when he was young. Or perhaps old. Hmm. He insists he has not changed after all. Oh, thank you once again, my friend. We will be here practicing our technique. If the battle comes, we will be ready. Very well, then. We will be ready. Now, I think I need to speak with Othar. No, I need to speak to Parthodon, yeah, the Warden of the Green. I have found Parthodon as the Warden of the Green. As the Warden of the Green, it is my duty to preserve the townlands. Hecadon sent you? I have nothing to say to him. As Warden of the Green, it's my duty to preserve the townlands and its people. I refuse now, as I refuse then, to call back the few scouts and guards that now defend them. They are the folk who will first face the swords and the axes of the orcs. Ah, I've recovered my temper now. The council dismissed his suggestion. That made me feel rather better. I have compiled a report of the situation on the Pelennor Fields. Can I trust you to deliver it to Thal, um, Thal here, the Warden of Laws? Many of the farms there have been evacuated, and the reports may help their owners receive recompense if their homes are destroyed by the orcs. Thy here can be found in the second circle of the city. <sighs> recompense in case the homes are destroyed by the orc. Well, they have really good insurance policies in Minas Tirith that that's going to hold. I really think that these tunnels, if they were designed for defense and to slow down the enemy, that a few murder holes on top of them might have been useful to reduce the chances of the enemy getting through alive. Just a thought. Now, where is this person I need to speak with? Ah, there he is. Thaw here, Warden of Laws. What is this? 
This is a report concerning the land holdings of folk who had to abandon their homes in the Pelennor. I see. I suppose Parthenon is doing his duty to take care of the town lands by preparing this report, but I think he's dreaming if he thinks the city will repay their owners of these farms for any damage the orcs inflict upon them. <laughs> He may be dreaming if he thinks there will be anyone left to repay them, Pine Leaf. The word out of Osgiliath is not good, and the army arrayed against us sounds vast. Well, I promise nothing, but I bring this report back to Arador for filing. If we do survive the siege, that much that must be coming, we may need paper to burn. And Parthenon's report may be good for that, at least. Oh, boy. <sighs> but, that's pretty much what I expected. I have finished delivering the resolutions. Thank you very much. Those resolutions will help safeguard the city. I will take this report from you and make sure that it's put into the proper place, but I share Thyre's belief that we should first survive the battle before thinking about the aftermath. I am sure I will see you again, friend. And take care of yourself until then. Very well. Now, back to Mithrandir. I finished doing all that you asked. There you are. I've been looking for you. The Prince of Dol Amroth was looking for someone to undertake a mission of some danger, and I suggested that you would be an ideal candidate. Oh, thank you very much. Yes, hurry down to the first circle and learn if Imrahil has already sent someone else. Very well, over to Imrahil. I found Imrahil. Mithrandir said you would be happy to undertake this errand. I am pleased that I was right. Hmm, what is this errand? Oh, this is the end of a quest. Hmm, I'll just take this one. Go to the north gate of the Ramas, and learn why Ingold has not come back. When Mithrandir came to the city, he told me that he passed through the north gate in the Ramas Hehor and spoke with his captain. He found Ingol supervising the repair of the wall and advised him that it was a bit too late. Swords would be more of use than travel travels at this late hour. Ingold has not yet returned to the city, but I need to know the situation north of the Ramas. Go to the north gate of the Ramas Ehor and learn what Ingold has not come back. I applaud him for br bracing the wall and the gate in it, but he will be of more use to Gondor alive in Minas Tirith than dead at the North Gate. All right, I shall use it. Oh, oh, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. How about... Ah, hello there. We won't let our city fall. The lands east of here are completely ravaged by the enemy. It is true that you travel through Osgiliath, the Causeway Forts, and the Pelennor Fields? I almost can't believe it. The White City will certainly benefit from your aid, brave warrior. Hmm. And what does he need? Every minute feels like hours. We can only prepare so much. If Kurugan, the head builder in Minas Tirith. Oh, I am, yes, I've been overseeing the city repairs for many years, though the crowning achievement is without a doubt the Ramas Echor. Now, I have been told that the Ramas is being decimated by orcs and trolls. How dare they destroy my livelihood! I would like to start overseeing repairs as soon as it's safe again to leave the sea. If you're venturing out in Pelennor, would you be interested in surveying the damages on the Ramas Echor? While you're out there, know the men still protect the outwall and the south gates and the north gate. You may be able to lend a hand to Turgon and Ingold. I am sure they could use it. Yes. Alright, so I need to speak with Ingold anyway, so I thought that was a great time to take that quest. Now, over to 
the Ramas Echor. Here we are at the North Gate. And there's even a nice convenient stable master. How may I help you, friend? Uh, just be ready in case I need to speak with you. Now, where were we? Ah! Here we go. Hi there! I met Ingold, Captain of the Outwall. First, I'll do the epic quest. I cannot return to the city just yet. I have disturbing news. Disturbing news? Yes, we're still working to repair the wall. I can't return to the city just yet. I have disturbing news, and it enforces my desire not to leave my post until the last possible moment. There is a second army, Pineleaf. I think the second Mordor host crossed the river at Kyrs Andros, though I can't be certain. None of my scals have made it near enough to the island to see in whole in whose hands it lies. I await word from the my man in Crystal's um, Barath um, Barathon, but he is not yet returned. I do not know if he still lives. I do know that orcs, wargs, and a strange group of Easterlings have overrun the plains of Talathanor. It is the last that gives me the most concern. They are the Suhalar, and little is known about them. If you can defeat these new foes in Talathanor, we may learn how best to face them. And I ask that you then look at Berhand in the town of Christos. If once he returns, all of that can then return to Minasteris. Okay, fine. So I need, first need to defeat Suhalar in Talathanor. Wonderful. And also I need to, after that, go to a town. And what else? Integrity of the Ramas. Is this your first time in Minasteris? Shame you couldn't see it in better days. You're not here to convince me to leave my post, I hope. I, if so, you're in a fool's errand, for I plan to defend this gate until the Rohirrim arrive. Well, I hope they arrive soon, then. But, you'll see how it's going on there. I'm not sure what happened ever since I left Dunharrow. So, yeah, scouting the north gate and a last bit of green. Actually, I think... Maybe I should go and take care of those Suhalar first. Assuming that I can do anything against them. Ah, are those Suhalar? Or no, those are war riders. So where are these alleged Suhalar? See, they're so strange that they look like orcs. Oh, no, no, here, here's a Suhalar rider there. Now I'll show See. Alright, am I able to do anything against these? Okay, well, if you want to fight face to face, I can do that. I'm more than willing to do that. There you go. Suhalar number one. Are there any more of these? No, that's, that's a buck. And that's a war rider. This looks like it's going to take me some bit of time to find them all. Now, here's quite a question. They have evacuated virtually every single city in Gondor to one extent or another. Even Minas Tirith has been pretty much evacuated. And yet, Krethos here seems to be quite bustling, despite the fact that it is pretty close to the Pelennor Fields and pretty much right in the path of where the enemy is going. These people are crazy. What do you say about that, Barathat? I am alive, and I still possess the fighting spirit. I will not retreat to Minas Tirith until the very last moment, and you will not be able to convince me. It is futile. 
Much of my family evacuated Minas Tirith and went to the Vale of Termladen along the last few wagons, but my brothers remain in the White City. I can still slay wargs and their riders in Talasanor, and every foe I dispatch means one fewer to menace my brothers. Aid me with this. You are an adventurer and can do great deal of good in this land beyond the Ramas. Once we have faced these threats, I give you my word that we can return to the North Gate. So you need to deal with some orgs. Over here. And that's what we'll be doing in the next episode of Complete Pine Leaf.